Uh, my great-great-grandfather came here in 1869 and they homesteaded just down the road here. That's when they came to, to a church here. My great-great-grandfather donated the land here and had the church built. And his daughter, Mary, was the first child baptized in this church. And in 1894, Axel and Mary were the first couple married in this church. So we have a long history in this church. This is Axel and Mary Johnson. They were the first couple married in this church. And this is their wedding certificate, actually. Another reason why they had to start a church also is uh, they had two daughters that died of the typhoid and they were buried in their front yard, in the front yard in their homestead until they had the church here built and they were the first two people buried in the cemetery. And that was in 1873, a year after the church was built. And there's stones now, you can barely read them, but you can still see the names because the weather has been washed away. I got a plot out there, my grandparents, my dad, we're all gonna be there. <laughs> Today it's used on, uh, well, for weddings and funerals. And uh, in the summertime, it's used on Wednesday night. We have ice cream socials here, gatherings. Uh, we have uh, musical get togethers here. Well, like on Wednesday nights during the uh, ice cream socials, we have picnics here and stuff. And when I remember when I was a little kid, this was a big deal on Sundays. And it was a big picnic where everybody gathered, everybody got together, talked about their families. And, and now it's, uh, you get to see the old, the old peoples that come together and we reminisce about the old days. In uh, 1972, they put it on the National Registry, and I'm sure glad they did because this church has been a, a, meant a lot to a lot of people around here. And to save it meant the world to us because we would not like to see it torn down and, or moved. That's, that's the way it should be, and that's the way we're going to keep it here. The preceding program was produced by the Anoka County Historical Society and Hennepin Technical College. You can plan a visit to the Anoka County History Center at 2135 3rd Avenue North in downtown Anoka. Help us preserve history. If you would like to donate or become a member of the Anoka County Historical Society, go to anokacountyhistory.org.